Hey Simlays, it's Silicracy here with another speed build uh, of an apartment. This is going to be a glamorous apartment in the city of San Myshuno. I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounce it, but for some reason, no matter how many times I've heard it, no matter how many times I try and say it, I just don't feel like I quite <laughs> can get it into this brain of mine that that is the correct way to pronounce it. So hopefully it is. It, it, it is. <laughs> what? Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well today and you're a little less rambly than I am. I'm currently wrapped up in my blanket. It's about quarter past five in the afternoon and it is beautiful and sunny outside. There's a blue sky, there's birds, it's spring in Australia and it's actually really, really nice. Really, really nice day. But it is also a fabulous day to be showing you guys another build because uh, this build was fun to do. It's very elegant. It's very loud. And I kind of tried to merge elegance with high fashion with tradition. So I don't know if you guys are going to get what I was trying to do in this, but I wanted it to look expensive and also fashionable. But I wanted someone who was very traditional to walk into this home and be like, oh, darling, it's so fabulous in here. You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, so I'm using the brand new curved TV that came with The Sims 4 City Living. And I love that TV. I think it looks really cool. I like the curved edge. Although in real life, I have to say I don't like curved edge TVs. I've played a one curved computer desktop and that was okay, but I don't really see... I didn't really get how it improved my gaming experience. I don't know. Do you guys like curved screens? Have you guys tried them? For me, anyways, I just, I don't know. I, did, I didn't really notice a difference, personally. Uh, but it looks cool in the game, so I like that. And ugh, I'm so obsessed with the fluffy rugs in this game. <gasps> I love the fluffy rugs that came with this expansion pack and I'm always sizing them up. I don't mind sizing them up because it means that we have the smaller size available to us as well. So that's fine. I'm just happy it works as small and large. So this beautiful royal red color, that ruby red, uh, reminds me of a jewel or something. And when it's placed against that harsh black and white checkered marble floor. I just think it looks really luxurious, really wealthy. And I think maybe that flooring reminds me a little bit of the Kardashians, their house on their TV show. It just, I feel like if you want to show off your money, that is the type of flooring you might choose. <laughs> I'm sorry if any of you guys have that flooring and you're like, what, you're calling me a snob? Because <laughs> it's not necessarily what it means. But for me, just how it's portrayed on TV, I've never met someone with it. Uh, I feel like it's fancy, so fancy. So I wanted to use it in this build. This particular apartment lot is in San Myshuno and like I said, and it's actually three levels. It's the apartment with the pool on the lower level. However, we're going to add extra bedrooms. So we're gonna get rid of the pool sadly, uh, but it's in the business financial district. I think they call it Uptown. So if you would like to download it, I have put it on the gallery. However, there is a lot of difficulty with uploading and downloading players apartments <laughs> basically you can only upload them as rooms not as entire lots which is frustrating uh because if you want to download this what I've had to do is delete the doors and the walls where the doors are so then when you download it all you have to do is build the wall and place a door in that place so you know where the doors all are that's the idea at least but uh, the other thing is you can't save rooms at a double level. So I've listed them on the gallery as this is the first level, this is the second level, this is the third level. So you're going to have to place them in one by one. I know it's a bit tricky, but at this stage, I think it's the best I can do. Uh, I don't know. If you guys find out a better way of doing it, please let me know. I'd be very interested. But for now, that's what I figured out was the easiest way and what others have been doing. So yeah. I love the chandeliers hanging down. Oh, so pretty. Whenever there's double wall height, 
I just go for those chandeliers. They're so fancy, they're so glamorous, and they're just a little bit of fun. They're definitely not something I'd have in my house ever, but I love looking at them because I love sparkly, shiny things. Shiny, shiny. Uh, anyways, I'm changing that little room on the corner into a main bathroom. And then right now I'm planning out the kitchen and dining room. I decided the entrance level, so the level where you enter from the lift or the elevator, as you Americans say, um, that level's where the entrance area is in the lounge room. It has a stairwell down to where all the bedrooms are with en suites. Or you can go upstairs to where the kitchen and dining area is. I thought it was just like a little bit different, a little bit interesting to do it that way. And I've also put in a glass wall here just to give it a little bit of, I suppose, hmm, separation or... At least when you're walking around in it, you know, oh, so this is kind of like a separate room. This is a lounge room. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it works. The dining table was a little bit tricky because I was just, I was going to use like really old school chairs, but then I was like, mm, it's not really working. So we end up going for something modern. And I have to say those curtains from The Sims 4 Dine Out are lifesavers for these apartments. They just look like those big sheer curtains that you'd pull across, but at the moment they're just bunched up in one spot. At least that's the illusion I was going for. So hopefully you guys get that. And you're not like, why is there only a random curtain here where there's no windows? Figuring out the dining area, I was like, oh, do we want to do the checkerboard thing again? But... I thought we would make the most of this brand new, super shiny flooring that is actually made to go with the basketball courts that we now have in The Sims 4 City Living. So these, oh, these floors are so cool. They're super, super shiny. I love how they play with the light in the game. And I think they look classy as if they're very polished floorboards. So I thought, let's go with the reddish tinged one, make it look like some stained red oak or something. I don't know what's a fancy timber, but let's just pretend stained red oak is. Cherry oak, oh my. And I just thought, you know what, let's put that with the black and white checks, checkered marble. And that is definitely a very loud thing to have and a bold thing to have and also, Quite a luxurious mix of textures. This statue in the corner there on the left, that guy kneeling, he is actually going to be merged using the move objects on cheat with another statue of a horse. And it's going to make him look like he's riding the horse. I'd like to say that's a deliquacy original, unless someone else figured it out too. But I'm like, ah, that's awesome. He's now riding a horse. So we'll do that in just a little bit. That's pretty much the dining room all sorted, I think, apart from the statue. Uh, we're just working on the entrance area a little bit more. There's a balcony to the left there. And in case you guys didn't know already, with The Sims 4 City Living, you cannot uh, change the exterior walls and windows. It's like in real life, you can't pull out the window and put in a new window. You can't extend the walls. Oh, there's a little horsey guy. Woo, he's going for a horse ride. Love it. Uh, yeah, so if there's a balcony though, you can extend the room onto the balcony a little bit. Uh, not the whole way usually, but you can have a little bit more flexibility there. However, you make the use of the windows that are already provided. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they release a cheat for the game, which means you can do whatever you want. That would be ace. But for now, we're just going to have to wait. And I really, really hope that in a patch or something, they're going to release it. That would be nice. That would be superb. All right. So this is going to be the kitchen. I decided to give it an angular wall just to make it less, uh, I guess, less harsh. I wanted it to copy the angle of the balustrade and also create more space for you to walk past it to the dining area. So that made a lot of sense. Uh, right here, I was going to make a little lounge area. So I was going to put some chairs up there and make it look all cozy. Maybe put a fireplace in there. But I decided, you know what? Let's not do that. 
let's put a bar in because if you're going to be living that lifestyle of the rich and the famous, then we're going to have a bar to entertain with. So that's what we're going to put in there shortly. This guy, I reckon he was the original owner of his penthouse or something. Yeah, he looks like he owns it. And the chick over there, I don't know what she did. You know what? Let's just say the chick owned it and that guy was her hubby. Yeah, girls represent for this one. And uh, no, I'm not hating on boys. It's so funny when you like say, get excited about something good for women and then sometimes other girls are like, oh, you're being sexist being like that, dude. Don't you know feminism is being sexist? And I'm like, no, we missed out on a lot. We're allowed to claim a little bit. Doesn't mean I don't like guys. I love guys. I love my boyfriend. <laughs> And I love my guy friends. Uh, it's interesting. I probably just got myself into hot water saying that. Oh, well. YouTube is a free place for speech, after all. Anyway, so this bar was looking a little bit funky over here and funky in the bad way, not the good way. So I decided to pull it out away from the wall, make it a little bit more like an open bar, you could hire a bartender to stand behind it. You could really throw a big soiree and uh, it look, look really nice. So we're going to put a dividing wall just to make it really clear that that's where the bar is. And uh, I was, you know, experimenting with putting columns there, experimenting with putting a glass panel there. You know what? Now I think about it, I kind of wish I did put a glass panel there instead of the light on the wall. Yeah, I, I would change that now. <laughs> if only we could go back in time, that would be cool. I actually had a moment today while I was playing The Sims and I was like, oh, rewind. I really want to rewind. And you're not able to do that. Have you guys ever wanted to rewind your Sims game? I know I've wanted to rewind my legitimate real life my legitimate real life why did I say legitimate uh my real life there's been times when I've actually said to myself control dead or rewind like I just oh, I just wish that I could go back in time and redo something that's happened way too much but I think everyone experiences stuff like that where you're just like oh why did I do that that was so stupid if only I could live it again but that is how we learn for the next time. Time's a really weird thing, actually. Time is super weird. A lot of people don't think that time is linear. A lot of people think that we think it's linear, but it's actually not. And there are lots of things that point to show that time is not linear. So, and also the time in space is confusing. Like you have light years which are how many seconds in a, uh, like on the world. I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm going to sound like a stupid person if I keep talking about it. But basically, I don't believe that time is, in fact, linear. I don't. But I'd be interested to hear what you guys think too. Such an interesting conversation, but it kind of makes me and my brain want to explode. So I'm not going to think about it anymore because it kind of freaks me out. Anyways, let's talk bathrooms. So this bathroom is the daughter's bathroom and it's cute. It's got like, oh no, this is a master bedroom bathroom. No, this is, no, this is a main bathroom. Well done, Deli. Okay. So this is the main bathroom. I love that champagne pink or eggshell colored rug and it's got a nice little side table next to the bathroom as well, which I quite like. And then this is the entrance room where we're just going to have a circular, simple table with flowers on it and a circular rug to go with it. In the corner, we've got the horse statue minus the man statue and a potted plant too. And then just a console table here next to uh, that window, which we're going to move in a second because I felt like there was just a little bit too much on that wall and the glass panel was... You know, quite nice as it was. I don't think it needed anything obstructing it. So we are going to move that across in a second. And, you know, it was kind of hard to find some lights to go on this wall. Uh, so we got some nice sconces. Is it called a sconce? Sconces. I think so. 
also just trying to find chairs. I think we're actually going to go back and change those modern chairs. I, th I think I feel like they were a little bit much, a little bit loud for all the loudness in this already very glamorous high fashion slash traditional apartment. Oof, that's a mouthful. I also wanted a chess table in here because logic is a skill I think is important for Sims to learn. So it just helps with a lot of the career tracks and handy to have and chess tables just seem a little bit fancy and traditional as well. I felt like the apartment was looking a little bit too white. So we're using these beautiful deep red walls with the dark timber detailing on them. And I think it kind of blends in with the flooring a little bit. So it kind of goes with the place and uh, just breaks it up a little bit. Up here, we're going to get a little bit fancy and we're going to have some teal colored wood in a second. None of these traditional wallpapers were really working for me. And I thought the teal was actually really pretty. And the silver, the silver detailing in that sliding is actually kind of fancy, kind of glamorous. It definitely gives off a shine. So you think, oh, and uh, it goes beautifully with the reds. So that was perfect. In the corner here, we do make a little area uh, where you can sit. However, for my Let's Play, I have deleted that area and I've put in there a maid's or butler's room. We don't have butlers in The Sims 4. We do have maids, but they don't live in with you. So it's more just for me and my gameplay. We're going to have a little maid in there. And saving is a good idea in your game. You gotta save, you gotta save or else you're gonna regret. Moving downstairs, this is where the pool was for the original build. Uh, we're using those beautiful glass windows with that lacy white detail on them uh, just to hide the stairs a little bit, hide that staircase slightly. And then we're working on the master bedroom right now. The master bedroom is going to have a color palette of red and yellow and white. So the red and white kind of gives the idea that it's a little bit Hamptons maybe. Uh, but then you have that injection of yellow, which gives it a bit of a royal element to it, I think. And then we're also going to have the daughter's bedroom with an ensuite as well, which is just very fun, very fashionable and quite... Uh, quite a mix of different things in their different styles. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, I do love city living. I love having apartments in The Sims 4. It does make me really, really happy. And it's so nice and so inspiring to see so many other Simmers in the community really embracing it and getting creative with it and just going to town, you know, I mean, and creating new stuff. It's just lovely to have new content for everyone. Alrighty. Uh, so we're going to the daughter's room, Porsche's room. Uh, we went with a purple traditional bed with a cushion, he cushioned headboard. Is that what you call it? Or quilted headboard. And I decided to put some mirrors on here. It's a little bit over the top, but I felt like over the top is what we were going for. I got a message. All right, let's turn my phone off. How rude. How rude of you, Deli. I'm going to put that on airplane mode. All right. My, I used to always put my phone on airplane mode in videos. And then after I stopped recording, I would turn it back on again. And I would never have any messages. And I'd be a little bit sad and disappointed. So I decided, you know what, I'm not going to turn it off. So then I won't have that disappointment of turning it on again, hoping for a message. You get what I mean? I thought it was pretty clever. So yeah, I did that. And uh, now I keep getting disruptions through my videos. So, oh, well. Oh, well. I decided not to put bedside tables to begin with next to this bed. They felt uh, a little... A little squished in. It didn't, there wasn't quite enough space. I'm just trying to recall if I actually moved the bed over one place or not to fit one bedside table in. I actually think I don't. I think I leave it as it is. And of course, we're getting a TV in here. I think I've spoken about this before, but I 
really strongly disagree with TVs in bedrooms. I mean, if I go on a holiday and there's a TV in a bedroom, I'm all about it because I think, ah, I'm on holidays. But I just, I think it's so hard to get away from technology already to rest. Yeah, I mean, you're not meant to look at screens before you go to sleep, right? And then if you put a TV in your room, you're just embracing that. Let's watch technology before sleeping. So I don't like it. I know so many of you guys have TVs in your rooms, though, and probably love it. It's probably partly to do with the fact that I've never had a TV in my room, so I probably don't understand how awesome it is. But I just, I just know, just know. Delhi can't deal. Delhi can't deal with it. But by all means, if you love your TV, you do what you want. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I just don't want a TV in my room. <sighs> These white tiles on the wall, I kind of wanted them to look like a cushiony fabric wall or a quilted wall. I know the texture really doesn't work, but for my brain, I thought, ah, just imagining it. I get it. I get it. But I like the fact that there's a desk on the other side of that sectional wall for a change. And there's lots of statues of wines and other fancy things. The carpet here, I believe we may likely change to a fair rug just because I thought it was better. And the shelving. Oh, yeah, that's right. We ended up putting some shelving in and putting a couple of things on there. So that's what we did to solve the bedside table issue or the lack thereof. Over here, we're going to be popping a wardrobe in and the wardrobes come from The Sims 4 Get Together. Yeah, Sims 4 Get Together. And you can woohoo in those wardrobes, which is a bit of fun. I also thought because Portia is quite spoiled, she should have a few little toys around her room uh, to show that she... How do I explain this? Because she's quite spoiled. She can throw a lot of tantrums. I wanted her to kind of have a bit of a childish element, even though she's a young adult. So by putting toys in her room, I kind of hoped to get that across, which I have toys in my room. Like I have Funshine Care Bear on my bed. So, and I don't think I threw tantrums, but it made sense at the time. Also, I love these lamps being put through those columns or those pedest pedest oh my gosh, pedestals, pedestals, Ped oh gosh, okay. For this wall, <laughs> I thought that a pattern would be cool to begin with, but it looked like it was a little bit much. So right now it's just trying out a few different things because I wasn't happy with the original color. And I'm really taking my time with this. I was thinking, oh gosh, what do I want to put here? So we're just having a little play around and figuring out what works, what doesn't. Uh, do we put a really bold black strip through white paint or do we want to do a purpley color to go with the couches, a modern looking thing? And in the end, we go with this black wood, uh, high glamour and totally something I would never want in my house but kind of cool nonetheless. I've skipped ahead a little bit. I decided to take out uh, a couple of the bathrooms just because bathrooms I feel like are a bit boring to watch. They, I'll show you the bathroom that we skip in the screenshots at the end. I'm not sure if we skipped it now or if we skip it later. And I also apologize in this speed build I'm actually stopping and starting a lot. I must have been really, really distracted that day, uh, probably watching some some interesting live stream or TV show. And yeah, I guess my attention kept being on something else other than the build. So apologies for that. And by the way, I love that painting on the right in the white color swatch. It looks so shabby chic. It's really cool. I've never actually... I don't think I've ever noticed it comes in that really bright white colorway. And furthermore, I don't think there's many items that have that same white painted shabby chic texture. So I was pretty stoked to actually find that. 
Here is the yellow bed, which is going to be in the red bedroom. This is an unusual color combination, but at the same time, it is a royal combination. It gives a little bit of a Hamptons vibe. Maybe the red and the white, and then the yellow is just the royal aspect of it, perhaps. I don't know what I think of it, but I think it suits the characters who are going to live here, who want to be fashionable and traditional at the same time, and are quite snobby, really. They're quite snobby characters, so I think that this is quite a showy bedroom for them to live in. There's a little living area here as well. We're going to be putting yet another TV in the room, I think, and a fireplace. So throwing the fireplace in there. Oh, I would love a fireplace at my house. That would be so nice. Be beautiful. I am jealous of any of you guys who actually have open fireplaces. Oh, I would toast marshmallows on it every day. Every day, because I love a marshmallow. I think marshmallows are my favorite sweet. But then some people said that it had a really yucky ingredient in it. Uh, and now I'm not so sure that I like it or not. I think there's a certain brand I buy that doesn't have gelatin in it. I think it's the gelatin. Uh, I'm pretty sure that what I buy is okay. But uh, I've heard some yucky things. That's for sure. Don't comment on that because otherwise I will read it and never eat marshmallows again. And they give me happiness. So, oh, so much happiness. I kept that fireplace pretty simple. I just put that weird headed lady statue on it. I felt like we there was no reason to over clutter it. And, you know, there's a lot going on in this room already. So that was fine. This apartment, I'm pretty sure, also comes with a cleaner too. Or a maid. So it's included in the rent. So their cleaner probably keeps it very nice and tidy and polishes that statue every single day. And a couple of the poofs, nice paintings on the wall, and ta-da! This is the exterior of the place. And the balcony there, you can see, it's got some fun uh, little fancy things on it. This is the entrance room. I love the entrance room, I think that looks cool. And you can see there into the lounge room where there's piano, the staircase, and that black wall we ended up putting there towards the end of the video. Also looking back out towards the other side. There's the lucky chess table with a nice pot next door to it. And here's looking at those details in those beautiful chandelier lights that cascade down. I also thought that was a nice shot with the chair and two trees in the corner. Balance is in threes after all. That is the bar area and we're going to be having a look at the kitchen area too in one moment uh, in the dining area. There's my man on his horse. I love that statue. I'm claiming it as the deli statue. Hashtag deli statue. And uh, that gorgeous view out the window of San Maishino. Oh, love it. Uh, that's also looking the other way to a nice light up table or console table. Here's the kitchen, going with that black and white theme again, looking out onto the bright blue skies and those little white clouds outside. What I would give to live in this apartment. So beautiful. We've also got a nice little area there in the corner. I don't think I actually showed furnishing that in the video, uh, but these are the extra bits downstairs. that are kind of nice. And here is our master, ba master bathroom, master bedroom. I hope that's not the bathroom. Imagine what the bedroom would be like. But yeah, that's the bedroom. And uh, we'll also show the bathroom in a second because I didn't show that. But it's got some gold elements, new wall lights. I don't really like the wall lights for this, for that bathroom, but I just wanted to use them because they were gold. And this is Porsche's bedroom. A crazy, crazy view. I love that painting in the corner, by the way. And uh, she's got that end table at the end of her bed with that champagne gold on the legs and her three violins and her dad using her bathroom so whatever he's just getting a drink of water that's fine but anyways guys let me know what you thought of this build if you would like to see more and I can't wait to share the let's play with you 
But I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.